Hello, Aquarius. This is Sage the Intuitive, and I am here to do a um, a quick reading. These are messages that could be potentially from your higher self, your person's higher self, whoever you are connecting with or wanting to connect with. I had started recording your reading here, and then some ambulances came by. It was really noisy, so I had to stop, but I had only just started. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is a brand new channel, so whatever, um, all those like, like, share, subscriptions, comments, they help the channel grow, and they help get the message out to those who really need them. All right, so basically, we're going to see what this person uh, wants to tell you the energy is fluid could be what you want to tell them so i'd already pulled these cards so we're going to go with the same energies that we had because i had not gotten far so this is a twin flame um connection potentially but if not twin flame whatever you label it it's someone that you feel very strong a strong um, connection with this is a um, it says it's a divine counterpart connection so if you um, subscribe to soulmates um, whatever it doesn't matter what the label is you have a strong energetic connection with this person and it's saying that there is some stability that this relationship can test um, stand the test of time what I was saying before is what I was feeling is that there is potentially like some type of strain here and maybe this is a thought, like, is is this something that can handle anything? Because I feel like there may be some kind of situation going on. And this is like reminding you, like, regardless of whatever the situation is going on now, that this relationship can, like, withstand this. It'll still stand tall at the very end of it. So that was just some overall messages. You could keep that kind of, like, in your head. Not, it doesn't matter. Um, that's just, it may not resonate. So with all of these messages, um, one message may resonate for you. No messages may resonate. Several messages may resonate. Be sure to check your other placements and cross watch as well. All right. So these are the cards that came out initially. So I'm going to read these same cards again, could be messages from your higher self or messages from your person's higher self. I keep comparing others to you. Am I good enough for you? I can't handle your words right now. You are never far from my mind. I looked you up online to see what you've been up to. I still remember the good times we shared. I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. All right. So that was the first set of messages. Let's see. What else? Don't forget to give me that thumbs up if you are enjoying this reading. I'm thinking about making this like a monthly type of um, check-in. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing like a check-in like this every month where we'll pretty much examine what, um, you know, what your person could be thinking, what your higher self may want you to know at this time. All right, it looks like that might be it, Aquarius. All right, let's do it. Let's see, what else do we have? You will hear from me soon. I've been having dreams of you. I'm speaking through songs. You really have been by my side. I see that. I do cherish you for that. I really hate not communicating as much as I want to. Under the deck we have, I've thought about living together and I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. So Aquarius, those are the messages that I have for you at this time. Don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe and certainly leave me a comment. Let me know if this is something that you would like to see um, on a monthly basis just to kind of get a little bit of a check-in. All right, you all stay safe and I'll see you soon.